another thing to note is the two zombies that are in this graveyard or whatever, they disappear once you have all four masks. If you don't have all four masks, then they will still be there. Do that every time, it's like this one ever properly in front of me. So if I do watch what I'm doing, this could possibly be my first death. Although the last time I died on the Crimson was my knife run actually. So well, let's hope that doesn't happen. For everything to go perfect, he would grab me and I would slap a grenade in his face. But pretty unpredictable. Did you see there? Boom! Nice. And I'm still on green. I'm happy with that. Pick up all these shotgun shells. I might actually get a shotgun. I'm actually going to have a decent amount of shotgun shells. Only metal. Oh, cheap man. 20 points, not just any object. That is pretty true. I'm actually glad that I've got uh, a lot of health still. Because of the two zombies that I'm going to have to pass in a second. Luckily. It will be the last time I ever have to see the two zombies. The time I come back to the mansion, they'll be gone. So, they get through this last wee bit. probably seen as well I uh, haven't went for the magnum and I probably will only go for the magnum oh you crazy zombie gonna kill me with the explosion yeah my thing unfortunately that was our last defensive item I've had a big fan of this bit because the dug Ivy seems to get me only because of this bit. If I can get that bit first time perfect, then we're fine. But sometimes I spend ages trying to get like, in line with it so it picks it up. I've already got shotgun shells on me, I may as well take them. I wanted to pick up that first aid spray, but I'm going to be coming back this way anyway, so I'm not even going to waste my time and pick it back up. Ah. Pushing buttons too fast. Oh. So, the red one has to face west, and there's another one just down the stairs here, which is... Uh, and equip this handgun. So there's no very many sections from here till the end of the res. In fact, I tell a lie. I was say till the end of the residence area, but I totally forgot that we're playing as Chris. 
I'm probably going to have to fight Plant 42 in this game. Kind of sucks. But, here we'll get there. If again where these stairs are I'm getting a bit better at. Eh? I'm going to do a wee cheeky save here. I probably don't even need to save this many times because I'm no that worried about dying at this stage. But, I'm not going to lie, I do like to save. In any other game I probably would have saved about 100 times by now, but this game you sort of have to take your time. And if you're not picking up loads of ink ribbons, then you only have a limited amount of saves. Pick up. Now I try every time to get past this chick with foot bloody getting hit and I just can't do it. I know there is a way to... That sucked miserably. Maybe he's put you on caution as well. Especially on normal. You can run forward, do like the wee step back and she will miss you. But, I'm just no good at I never run far enough forward, I don't think, so she backs me into a corner. Oh, that really matters. Now, this section here is probably the only section that ever properly used tank controls, just because you could hold up and X, and you just run. Great line. And you press A. <laughs> I say that is because when you come back here for the second time there's a zombie there and if you do the exact same thing just hold up and hold X using tank controls you'll run straight past them every time. Even on uh, real survival there's two zombies there and you could still do it. You just run straight past both of them. Grab this. I should go use one because if anybody's watched my last Let's Play, I'm not a big fan of dogs. I love dogs in real life, but in Resident Evil. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Brad, this is Chris. Brad? Damn. This thing's broken. Ah, the dog seemed to be alright with me the day. Normally when they do a wee growl, then it actually means a good sign, because if they're growling at you, then they're no running at you, doing other things. Oh, dogs are a bit 
temperamental. If you run anywhere in front of their face, they're more likely going to bite you. Head our way to the residence area. This part of the game as well trolls me every time. I'm getting a bit better at dodging the snakes on the way back and forward when doing the elevator. But uh, I always have to have. Uh, a blue hair handy. Take the red herbs. Oh, well, you don't have to take them, but I like taking red herbs because then you only need a green and you've got a full heal. I don't really like wasting herbs on top of herbs, if you know what I mean, like green on green on green. Or if I could pre uh, prevent it. Now I probably no don't even need all of those, but I always seem to take the blue herbs. Because they can also come in handy later on. Yes, the snakes, or if you get bitten by yawn for the second time, or something along those lines. Again, I'm, I'm not even going to whip the handgun. There's only really one thing in this residence area, like zombie wise, that sometimes gives me grief. But not always. Should get lucky enough. Yeah, I'll run and get these items first. I was going to do it on the way back, but I should have enough space. I'll take the shotgun ammo. Now I always pick up this first aid box because it has a, a blue and a green herb inside. I actually use that for the snakes later on. Uh, the wee snakes outside I mean. Not actually the big snake. Come on Chris. So we're on our way to get the residence key for, I think it's 001, if I remember. Now this is the part here that sometimes trolls me, but you sometimes actually benefit yourself by doing this. Stand in this corner. Don't becomes. Although it is a bit dodgy to dodge him, as long as you can dodge his first strike, you can normally push past him and actually clears this room that I just went through or getting back to like the aqua ring etc. If 
a quick look at my inventory, make sure I've got enough space. I've got, I've got a key there. Ah, probably better off just going and putting some stuff back. Clear up some space. But I'm going to keep that red book on me. Because I could possibly do the puzzle and then maybe come back and save before finding plan 42. Now there is a, like, the, the wee gun, the suicide gun, around the corner there, but I never really pick it up. Comes in handy, but it only has one bullet. So even when you use that one bullet, then you have one space taken up in your inventory, so I'm not even going to bother with it. Saved a lot of shotgun ammo, and because I've not used the shotgun from the mansion, I've got even more shotgun ammo. So my plan is, by the time I get the shotgun, uh, I shouldn't really have to worry ammo-wise. A lot of the zombies, you can just dodge around, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you see here, there's no zombie. Normally when you start pushing these, uh, a zombie would come and it just becomes a pain to dodge. By leaving them in a room at the side there, it's a nice clear hallway to run backwards and forwards. Especially if you're Joe and you're going to have to do V-Joe. But because we're no Joe, I don't think we have to do V-Joe. This is pretty straightforward, just pushing some boxes into the water to make a bridge. So we're not even a couple of minutes away from drowning out Mother Neptune. Also there's a cutscene coming up which is different from Gil's playthrough. Take this. Ooh. It'd be fine to take this. Gotta keep an eye on my inventory slots, make sure that I don't end up running out of space when I need it most. Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard! So that explains why Richard's shotgun's here. Oh. Well, I have completed this like 12 times now with Jill, and I've only been but once with a shark, so that's pretty unlucky. But I did much health or damage to me anyway, so I'll we'll complain. Quick 
quickly check to see what Valve when you do them too. Doesn't matter what difficulty you're on, that will always be random. So you can spend the extra couple of settings just switching through them. Hope that you get lucky. You may as well just take the extra couple of seconds to check the the memo board. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. A corner I oh my god. Uh, that corner I always messes me up just because I use alternative controls. As like dodgy corner because of two camera changes and like one corner. I wasn't gonna, but it is only a uh, one green herb in here. I'll take the extra time just to, to take it. Actually, it's two. Not bad. We better keep an eye on that because I always thought it was just uh, one. So it's maybe a good time picking that up. Now, I am not going to have enough inventory space to pick up E, but I've already decided I'm going to use that one green herb because I got bit by one of the sharks. And here is Richard's assault shotgun. After all that time, we finally got ourselves a shotgun. But let's be honest, at least we've got some decent amount of ammo for it now. Mother Neptune. Oh. One thing I was actually talking about and I totally forgot. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we'll head all the way back up. I don't think I actually have enough inventory space to do any of the other wee puzzles just yet, so I may have to go back to the box. Hopefully I'm not going to need the magnum, so that's why you don't see me picking up any magnum ammo. I know that it's possible to knife the tyrant at the end if need be. Well, I will be going for best ending. So, we'll be able to knife the second fight with the tyrant. Well, I'm planning on knifing the tyrant, but just saying it's possible. I will have enough space because I'll be able to go grab the insect repellent. I'll do that first. Oh. 
in the dodgy camera angles. Now the trick with this is as soon as you pick up the map just continue to press B because if you continue to press A you're more than likely going to actually look inside the hole and the bees will come into this room. So pick up the map and then just keep pressing B so that you exit uh, all your menus and then use the insect repellent. Easiest and probably best way. Probably should have went and got some more ammo. I'm going to do these wee puzzles first, so if I go back and save it then I'm right at the boss battle. Pardon me? So first we fourth with six or with seven makes it a naked lady that's it I'm trying to think I'm gonna go pick someone first I'm gonna see if opening this will Bring Rebecca. It's just Trying to get the bloody combo right. Oh dear. That's five, six, three, isn't it? the combo is just it's random each time I think or maybe depend on the difficulty and nobody I don't know much about medicine there's no point in taking this crap this you suck you can't do a simple mathematical equation it's only up to 20 dude oh well Sure, I read somewhere that to do the vigil, you need Richard to die in the mansion by not giving him the serum. But I've never played through as Chris, so I couldn't honestly tell you if that's the case or not. But if you did use the vigil, you would get your achievement, Bravo, Rebecca. But because I got poisoned by Yon the first time, I actually got my achievement there. Which was my plan initially, because I didn't know if I had to save Richard or let Richard die to get the achievement. And I wanted shotgun, so that's why I went for trying to kill. I wanted the achievement for both of them, and I wanted the shotgun. Or I wanted the shotgun, I wanted the achievement, so I had to get poisoned. Sorry. Trying to concentrate on what I may be needing what I don't need.
mean, actually. Save the game. Probably should have saved it actually right next to the place, but doesn't really make too much of a difference. Oh, let's do this. Plant 42 coming up. So after Plant 42, we should get the, the helmet key, and it's back over to Mansion Part 2. Uh, pretty much get ready to go into the underground courtyard area. Oh dear, here we go. That didn't look good. Time to get up, Chris. Run! that there is only the first part of Ant. Isn't the best idea either? Oh! Come on, Chris, get up. Oh! I think that's Plan 42 dead. Yay! Achievement! 20 points. Herbicide. So, we'll use that just because. It's not too bad. Kinda... Would have liked to keep a wee bit more ammo than that, but... Can't really do much more than that. You scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, well, maybe if you helped Rebecca, we would have turned that thing out a bit better. Oh. Already done. So, now we've got the, the helmet key. We make our way back to mansion Wesker 
Chris, you're alive. Yeah, we well, should not. Exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Oh, we've explored every room here, Wesker. That's bugger all. Now that the plant's dead, you can run freely uh, past that hole. There will not be any tentacles that will come in try to grab you. Right. Put that back. Up that. We're good to go. Like I said, I always pick up the first aid box from the spider room because it normally has a, a green and a blue herb in here. A mix of green and blue. Which you'll probably see in a second why I always have to get that. Hopefully I don't have to use it because then I could save it for the second time. That I don't have to carry a, another blue herb with me later. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. Funny how Brad was able to get in contact with Chris there, no hassle, but we're not able to talk to him. <sighs> Excuse me. So well, here's my like, worst bit of the game. Normally because I get poisoned every time that I come past this section. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, dodge biff of them. That means that I've got that blue and green herb for the second time that I come back this way. It's always a good thing because then that means I don't have to carry more blue herbs with me. Also means that I save blue herbs for later on. Also comes in handy. Ugh, don't bite me, don't bite me. Now we're fine. So anybody familiar with Resident Evil games know that I'm just about to come up to first Hunter. Uh, I will take the first aid as well. Because normally I like to clear both of these first rooms I'm about to head into. This allows me to run a bit more freely later on. Just hope that the hunter doesn't want to kill me. Obviously he wants to kill me, but let's hope he doesn't. The looks of the cutscene, these things are absolutely rapid. Luckily they're not that fast. <laughs> First hunter down. Here we've still got another two to go, so we're not out of the woods yet. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Run! 
Run! Wow. Okay, I will use that. I didn't really want to use that, but... Free hunters are taking care of. They're really the only ones that I need to take care of. So... That actually works in my favour. Probably not going to need this just yet. Eh... Uh, yeah, I'm going to save it again. Got four saves. Plenty of saves. Or to do what I want to do. So let's go. I'm gonna head upstairs. There's a room to the left. Anybody familiar where it would be where you get the second floor map? Oh, we cheeky herb in there. I'll just leave it. Should be okay for now. <clears throat> so, I think I still have a good few defensive items. I think I have two or three grenades. I think I have two now. Not too sure, I think I may still have a dagger. Have to have a wee quick look at that. Two grenades. Nine. Worried too much. That's probably the best corner I've took in a while. Using these controls, that can that corner there as well as the one in the aqua ring are both a pain in the butt. I'm going to use a knife. Oh, I've got the first book. I think this will be spiders down here. The only next part that I really have to watch out for is a bit after this. There's a couple of zombies. If you just run straight through, first left and then the right, you'll be able to get past those spiders like every time. It's too difficult. Grab this quickly. Ah! Quite what I wanted. I got past him. It's trying to get past him again. Go! Ah! What are you doing on me? Ah, it's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse there. One elevator. So now we're on our way to get the battery for the courtyard. Normally two zombies up here. Sometimes you don't have to shoot any. Hopefully that'll be the case. Oh! 
And it will be the case, because I got lucky there. There's only certain zombies that are really troll you in this, and it's not really the zombies' fault, it's more the camera angle. And I like how there's two sets of shotgun ammo here. Definitely comes in handy. Another grenade. Oh, aye. Everything's handy in this room. Right. This next bit is a bit unfortunate. I didn't really like this corridor. Probably the worst corridor in the game. Ow! Get off me. Ow! Oh my goodness. Just zombies everywhere in that corridor. And caution, this isn't good. Boom, that there's going to be a green herb. Normally, there is. On normal, I think there's only one, which is a bit unfortunate. It just means that I need to kill Yon. Pretty perfect. Oh, there's two. That does me quite well. I'm almost confident that I could kill Yon if we die. To be honest, I'd probably be able to kill him easier with just a bloody knife. Normally you could try to get two shots in there, but because I'm low on health and whatnot, Trying to watch what I'm doing. Now, what I'm trying to do here is just. Oh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Would have worked, but I got trapped. Uh, if you try to stay on the outside of Yon and he strike you, he's definitely handy. Oh no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Fuck. Yon, you got to move your tail. There we go. Now, I don't see Chris limping, which would be a good thing. If he was limping, I would be poisoned. And if I was poisoned at this stage, I probably would be quite screwed. Still got a wee bit to go before I get to a box. Well, I'm not too far away from a box. That's a bit of a lie. But I still have to get past a couple of zombies. And I just got an achievement. Nice. 20 points. Written word is dead. That was for picking up the... The volume 2 last book. That wasn't too bad at all. I just need to watch out for the crimson head and the zombie. But... Normally... I can make it past this zombie and Crimson Head. I'm just not looking forward to it. Because if I get hit once and then another zombie hits me and whatnot, I could die. But that door is pretty easy to... Like, the hitbox that you have to hit for an in, order, in order to go through the door is actually pretty good 
So when you turn that corner, you're pretty much guaranteed to run straight into the door without any zombies hitting you. But it is possible still to get hit. He's away. Running a wee bit low on health. But a good thing. Use that anyway. Put that back for now. And where's my ribbon? Right, well that saves, I'm going to hit the toilet two seconds.